Hi, Sean Costa Mesa on D. Well, today we have a little Honda set of pistons and connecting rods in here. We were asked to bush the rods down to accept a full floating pin, which we've done. We uh, made up some bushings and put them in, do the oil holes and honed them out to size. So that fits fine. Now our problem here is that the pin is going to be too long to uh, hold a set of circlips in here. And by the way, these pistons don't normally come with circlips. So we're going to show you how we cut these grooves and how we install the circlips. And if we have time, we'll go ahead and shorten the pin and show you what that's all about. But this is what the finished product looks like with the pin installed. And um, anyway, it's just one of the things we do here. We're going to show you how it's done. Well, this is our fixture that we made and it has a tapered screw in here so that when we put the piston on here and we tighten this up, it's going to hold the piston in place. We'll tighten this up with a, an Allen wrench. Make sure that's pretty snug. And then we have to take our pin and stick in the other side. And we'll turn this on. We've got it set pretty slow. And we just want to make sure that our pin is running fairly concentric here. It looks like we're doing pretty good. Alright, our cutter bit that we made is the width of our snap ring. So when you do this, you have to grind the tool up so that it'll fit. Set. So on this over, we're going to bring our tool up and bump it against the piston. Set our dial at zero. Back this in a ways. We're going to move over a hundred thousandths. And that's it. Now you have to machine this for the depth for the snap ring and depending on what snap ring you use that will determine your actual amount that you have to remove okay now that we're done with that side take this out of here pull this off pull this out and turn the piston around and stick it back on so again we'll stick a pin in over a hundred thousandths. Now we have our circle clip holes in there, and now we'll go ahead and take the uh, pin and shorten it down because when you do this, the pin has to be smaller to fit in between the clips. Well, sorry about the uh, camera falling down on us there, but doing the work, I was more in paying attention to what was going on on the piece than I was with the camera. Oh well. All right, now we're gonna cut the pin down and bring the tool bit up and touching the edge. 
and zeroing it out. And then I'll just calculate how much I need to take off. I'll measure it from time to time and we'll finish this up. We're going to be taking off a little more than a hundred thousandths on this. We got about twenty thousandths to go. That right, looks like we're there. We'll go inside and give it a little chamfer. All right, well, we're ready to uh, check our fit here and everything, so I'll show you how this goes together. Push this in. And take your snap ring pliers onto the clip, squeeze it together. Take something and push it down in the groove. And take your pliers. Move this around a little bit. Feels good. So there we have a full floating piston on a Honda connecting rod. If you have any questions about this or need this done for your Honda, give me a call here at Coast Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.